I'm in Highland Falls, New York. This place is very near and dear to my heart. I went to school here. It's home to the United States Military Academy at West Point. A little over a week ago, torrential rain came through here and just destroyed parts of these communities here. Where I'm standing right now, the water has been rushing through about shoulder level. Nice to meet you. After the storms of life, whether it be man-made or natural disasters, people need help and they need help right away. Samaritan's Purse responds right away. We have the equipment, we have the staff, but we always need more volunteers to come and respond right after. Why? Because people are hurting and they're in dire need. Stories, why God brought them here. We come, we muck out these homes. What they're doing is cutting back the drywall and getting them dried in, spraying some uh, solution on there that helps it dry out. But they got to get all the mud, all the debris, everything that's been destroyed, all the memories. We take them out, bring them to the street for the city to pick up, and then we help dry them in. It can be hard work, but it's so rewarding to work with other volunteers that are like-minded, that just want to love their neighbor and love them in the name of Jesus Christ. Help those that are hurting and suffering. Do you mind if I pray for you, Dexter? Uh, I would like that. Well, down here. Lord, I just lift up Dexter. I just ask for strength and encouragement. It's crucial that we have the volunteers in the support of the church. The volunteers are the lifeblood. They're the one that come in, they do the heavy lifting, but they're also ready to give a reason for the hope inside of us. And that's why Samaritan's Purse goes. Just like the story of the Good Samaritan, we want to meet the immediate needs of those that are suffering, those that are hurting, but more importantly, we want them to know about the love of Jesus Christ.